What up YouTube, G4 Lead here once again, back with another video for you guys. Today's topic, I want to talk to you guys about one of the most underrated albums of 2018. This is an album I don't think get as much acclaim as I feel it deserves, you know, and it is Book of Ryan by Royce the Five Nine, which is by far his best project he ever put out. And what makes what really bums me out about this shit is that it is not getting the attention that it deserves, you know, because Royce is one of the few rappers that's still rapping. He's still spitting. He's still got the best lyrics, best bars, best punchlines. You know, he's top notch in terms of skill when it comes to lyricism. And it bums me out that he never gets put in anybody's top anything when he is one of the best. And, you know, um, and, and the fact that this album came out, which is one of his most introspective albums, where he delves deeper into his childhood, his life, you know, and he's talking about his father while talking to his son, you know, it's a conceptual album as well. You know, this body of work is a masterpiece, and I, it just bugs me that it's being slept on this way. Because I know if this same album was put out by, like, a fucking... Kendrick Lamar, or this was a J. Cole album, you know, same songs, same everything, this shit would have been, like, fucking double platinum, this shit would have been critically acclaimed, this album would have been best of the year, it would have been all of this or that, you know, and the fact that it's not them, and the fact that it's Royce, that people sleep on it, you know, and that's the part that bugs, maybe, maybe I'm a little bit biased, because he's a Detroit native, I'm from Detroit, you know, I feel like he reps for my city, so I really do appreciate that, but I also feel like he is one of the best, I prefer, when it comes to rap, I prefer, I even prefer Royce over Eminem, you know, don't get me wrong, I love Eminem, but Eminem's revival album, this is nowhere near <laughs> close to Book of Riot, you know, and the album sales ain't even close, you know, because Eminem and Eminem be all the way up there, and they, like I said, it really do bum me out, because he he, play, he putting out his best work, he said he will never be in his prime, and, you know, because he's all, he can always outdo himself, and I believe that shit, you know, I thought, layers in 2016 i thought that was going to be his best work but nope he outdid himself with this album so like i said i always wonder why you know um certain sides of hip-hop get more exposure than the other like how the fuck in the hip-hop community how did we let the catch me outside girl bad baby, whatever this bitch name is, how did we let her have more views and be seen more than Royce? How did she have, like, fucking four million followers and Royce have, you know, about 300,000? I don't get it. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. Like, clearly, <clears throat> clearly there's something wrong with the culture. Clearly, there's something wrong where Lil Pump could put out of the most repetitive, retarded song, some special needs mumble rap bullshit talking about nothing, and they get played everywhere, but Royce drops some real shit that we need to hear, and nothing. You know, like it just really shows that there's something wrong in hip hop. It really shows there's something wrong with the culture currently. But at the same time, it also reminds me that there is a better side to hip hop. Hip hop isn't just a uh, trippy red, Takashi 69, Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi, Young Thug, and all of them. There's a, there always will be that better side with Royce the Five Nine, with J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and these type of people. You know, and I feel like. Sometimes I want to rage, quit the culture, and I'm like, I'm done with hip-hop, when I should just advert my eyes from the fuckery of hip-hop, you know, with the new young people, and just focus on that other side of hip-hop, you know, so, like I said, hip-hop is way bigger than just mumble rap, you know, there's something for everyone, and that's something me as a... Uh, as, as a uh, rap consume, uh, rap music consumer, I need to realize there's something for everybody, and I just need to stop paying attention to that side and start paying attention more to 
that side, you know, because like I said, this album is dope. You know, I normally I hate long albums. Normally I hate skits as well, but there's not a single skippable track on this album, and I love even the uh, skits on it as well because like I said, it's telling a story. It's you put on this album, it's telling a story about his childhood and growing up, and him talk um, talking to his son as well. And not only is it telling a story, he's telling a story in a to bangers, these tracks that the you know sonically it sounds good. The music is dope. Listen to Caterpillar. Caterpillar goes hard. You know, like I said, sonically these these songs are really great. You just like I said, I just wish more people would be willing to sit down and listen. Like I said, I've been a fan. I've been a fan. <clears throat> I've been a fan of Royce the Five Nine since 2001 when I discovered him on Grand Theft Auto soundtrack. I'm the King. You know that track. That track was hot. And you know, and from there, I went on to his album Knock City, which came out in 2002. And like I said, I found out he was from Detroit. And you know, like I said, been one of them local heroes to me. He's always been one of them local heroes. And I just and I wouldn't love to see him transcend just being local and see him get the, the respect he deserves and really be on an international scale. Because like I said, this album is just way too great for people to not be talking about it. If this, like I, like I said, if this exact same album had Kendrick Lamar's name on it instead of Royce's, people would be all over this shit, you know? And it's a shame it gotta be that way, you know, but... Anyway, I just had to talk about that shit. Hopefully, you guys check it out. If you listen to it, tell me your thoughts. Let's talk about it. Yeah, G Foley here signing off. And thank you guys for watching.